Welcome again to the South China Morning Post Racing Podcast. I'm Alan Aitken and today is the 22nd of November. We're at Sha Tin for the Cathay Pacific International Sprint Trial and the Cathay Pacific International Mile Trial. It's really got an international feel about it at the moment. Of course, one visiting horse already here, uh, that's Eagle Mountain, running in the Mile Trial today on his way to the Hong Kong Cup. And Senec Blast, who unfortunately was scratched from the sprint trial today, more of that later. And yesterday, Cannonball, the American sprinter who did so well at the Royal Ascot meeting, also arrived on his way to the Hong Kong Sprint. So first, a quick look at the news. And ahead of today's international sprint trial, which holds really the focus of attention at Sha Tin, John Moore declared all systems go for Happy Zero and Inspiration after their work earlier this week. And certainly they look the main dangers to Sacred Kingdom. Now, Sacred Kingdom trainer Ricky Yu has said the horse is in outstanding form. Brett Preble agrees. And Yu was even bold enough to say that he thinks 80% right will be enough for Sacred Kingdom to take out today's international sprint trial. As I mentioned, Scenic Blast, the Australian sprinter, uh, out with a foot problem, but uh, connections of the horse trainer Danny Morton uh, is uh, very confident that he can have the horse uh, correct again in time for the Hong Kong sprint. Of course, Scenic Blast will be racing for a 1 million US bonus if he can win the Hong Kong sprint. So plenty of reasons why Danny wants to get him right for that day. Apparently his foot problem is something that he often has and it's just come at the wrong time for today's trial. Also in the trial news today, Derek Cruz, who's only had the former Horse of the Year Good Barbar for one race so far, declared that in contrast to his midfield finish in the Sartin Trophy, that uh, he expects Good Barba to finish in the first three today and be much more competitive on his way to the Hong Kong Mile, where he'll be looking for a third successive win in the race after winning the past two for trainer Andreas Schutz. Well, our feature race today, as I said, the uh, there are two international trials today, but the mile trial very much overshadowed by the sprint trial and the clash of Happy Zero and Sacred Kingdom. It's a great clash. If for no other reason, then there'll be no excuses in terms of fitness because both of these horses are flying in their training. Sacred Kingdom's barrier trial last week was just outstanding. His work's been brilliant, and there is no doubt that he will go into today's race right on top of his game and a proper test for Happy Zero, who is my selection to win the race today. He's the horse on the way up, and uh, we go back two years, and it was Sacred Kingdom who really made the world sit up and take notice when he won this race on the way to winning the Hong Kong Sprint and being named the world's champion sprinter. It's a situation he still holds. He's joint top rated with Scenic Blast at present, but Happy Zero is the new kid on the block. Not really a kid, as John Moore pointed out. He's a five-year-old, but uh, he's only lightly raced. He's only been around for a relatively short time, but he is really on the way to the stars, Happy Zero. There was something freakish about his first up win down the straight course, and that made uh, everyone think that there is more to come, and if he takes that step today, he's going to be the horse to beat in the international sprint trial, but a fabulous race. Sacred Kingdom certainly going to keep him honest, and inspiration, as usual, will be there to pick up the pieces if anyone else is making mistakes, but it does look a serious two-horse clash, and I've gone for Happy Zero for the front page of the guide in today's Cathay Pacific International Sprint Trial. Jockey Challenge time, and Brett Preble, well, they just don't run hotter than Brett Preble is running at the moment. 11 of his last 29 rides have saluted the judge. That's an incredible strike rate in such a competitive racing centre as Hong Kong. And Preble was able to just find the extra to get 
Nugget, Nugget Warrior over the line in the last race on Wednesday and stave off Matthew Chadwick's uh, bid to unseat him in the Jockey Challenge. And uh, Preble is the favourite again today at 3.2 and I think uh, punters shouldn't go past him. Second pick in opening odds was Douglas White, 3.6. He got out to 3.8 in the early action and Matthew Chadwick was the first jockey backed, 6 into 5 and it's great to see him back in uh, terrific form again after his treble on Wednesday. Perhaps the betting strategy for punters in today's challenge is to let the first race be run. Preble's main rivals for the challenge all have good chances to win the first race. So if one of those jockeys is able to post points, uh, maximum points, then uh, Preble's odds may ease out. They may not, but they certainly can't be any worse if one of those riders does score points. So... That's the strategy. Back Brett Preble after the first race to win today's Jockey Challenge. And a reminder to any of our listeners who are regulars betting on the Jockey Challenge, in-play betting is open for one extra race from now on, which means race seven today will be the close instead of race six. And from now on, that will be the case. Best bet time, and mine comes up early in the program, away from the major events to come, and it's race three, number four, Legend. Brett Preble's aboard Legend, and uh, we mentioned how strong his form is, but trainer David Hall is also in uh, outstanding form. There's no hotter stable in uh, Hong Kong at the moment, and I think that the step up to 1,400 metres from his last start win at 1,200 metres will be ideal for legend. He's a horse on the way up. He's my best. Race three, number four, legend. Well, that's all for this edition of the South China Morning Post Racing Podcast. For any more on the stories that you've heard about here, take a look online at www.racing.scmp.com or pick up your copy of today's South China Morning Post with the lift-out guide for Sha Tin. I'm Alan Aitken. Good punting.